Hi everyone, in this video we are going to discuss this example. So they have given capital R is a radius of convergence of this power series, then we have to find the radius of convergence of this power series, okay. So let us start with the given information. We have R is the radius of convergence of this power series summation n running from 0 to infinity cn x raised to n okay so we are familiar with the formula of radius of convergence so therefore the radius of convergence r will be 1 by alpha where the formula of alpha uh, let me write here so this is limit n tends to infinity supremum of mod cn raised to 1 by so this is value of alpha okay and the reciprocal of alpha is nothing but a radius of convergence. So right now we have this power series and we have to find its radius of convergence. So let us do. So we have the given power series is summation n running from 0 to infinity cn raised to k x raised to nk. Okay. So we have to find its radius of convergence but for that we have to find this limit first. And whatever its value, its reciprocal is nothing but radius of convergence. So let us do that. Uh, see, let us do that. So consider, I am going to find the value of that limit. Limit n tends to infinity supremum of mod. See, cn. cn means basically the coefficient, multiple of x raised to nk, so which is cn raised to k. And raised to, what is power of x? nk so i should write here 1 by nk so we have to find the value of this limit see uh, this is equal to limit n tends to infinity supremum of cn raised to so what will happen see we are familiar with rules of indices a raised to n raised to n that means a raised to n into m so simply we take the product of power so i will do the same thing here cn raised to k into 1 by nk. So as a result of that, that k and 1 by k will get cancel of each other, cancel to each other. Okay. So let me mention here. So just a minute, let me remove this one. So that k and 1 by k will get cancelled. So this is equal to limit n tends to infinity supremum of mod cn and the power is just 1 by n by cancelling k. But see, we have seen this somewhere and yes, its value is alpha. So that's why I should mention this is alpha. So finally, what we got the value of this limit is alpha and the reciprocal of this limit is nothing but radius of convergence. So therefore, radius of convergence, radius of convergence of this power series is nothing but reciprocal of this limit and which is alpha so 1 by alpha but see 1 by alpha is nothing but capital R so this is equal to capital R so that means the radius of convergence of this power series is also same which is capital R so let me clearly mention therefore radius of convergence of that series what we have and running from 0 to infinity cn raised to k x raised to nk is that is also capital R. Okay, so make a screenshot of it then we will go for the next problem. Since second example they have given a uh, same information. Okay, so what they have given R is a radius of convergence of this standard power series and we have to find the radius of convergence of this power series. So let us write a given information. We have R is radius of convergence of this power series. Okay, so what we have n running from 0 to infinity, cn x raised to n. So by definition of radius of convergence, sorry, by formula, we can write R is equal to 1 by alpha, where alpha is nothing but value of this limit, limit n tends to infinity, supremum of mod cn raised to 1 by n. So now with the help of this information, we have to find the radius of convergence of this power series. So let us consider we have 
what is the power series we have summation n running from 0 to infinity cn x raised to nk okay to find the radius of convergence of this power series we need to calculate the value of limit supremum so let us do that first consider limit n tends to infinity supremum of inside mod we write coefficient what is coefficient that means multiple of x raised to nk is cn okay and raised to 1 by what is power of x nk so i should write nk here okay so let me continue uh, we have this space let us use so this is equal to limit n tends to infinity supremum of see the same thing we can write in this way mod cn raised to 1 by n raised to 1 by k you are getting the point see 1 by k into 1 by n again you will have 1 by nk same thing i have written in a different way so as a result of it you can easily see this is nothing but limit n tends to infinity supremum of mod cn raised to 1 by n whole raised to 1 by k get it since this k is independent on n and simply we can write in that way but the value of that limit supremum is alpha so let us put its value there so this is equal to alpha raised to 1 by k okay uh, see finally we got the value of that limit supremum and its reciprocal is nothing but radius of convergence so let us write therefore radius of convergence is nothing but its reciprocal so 1 by alpha raised to 1 by k or 1 by alpha raised to 1 by k both of them have the same meaning since 1 raised to anything is 1 1 by alpha its values are capital R let us put it there so this is R raised to 1 by k so finally we got the radius of convergence of this power series is R raised to 1 by k therefore radius of convergence of that power series summation n running from 0 to infinity cn x raised to nk is r raised to 1 by k so in this way we uh, find out the radius of convergence make a screenshot of it then we will stop thank you see you